evening, everybody. Um, let me first introduce myself. I'm Len Luciano. I'm the District 4 Freeholder. I've had the privilege and honor of serving as Freeholder since 2011. Um, tonight, we have a presentation for the American Red Cross. Uh, and I'm, a proud, um, I'm proud to say that the Red Cross is located in my Freeholder District in Fairfield Township. Uh, this evening, my freeholder colleagues Brendan Gill, who's at large, and freeholder Patricia Siebold, who is also at large, will be sharing in this celebration with me, honoring the Amer North Jersey American Red Cross and proclaiming March 2020 as the American Red Cross Month in Essex County. At this time, I'm going to ask the director, executive director of the Northern New Jersey Division, Jocelyn Gilman, to join me up here at the podium. Jocelyn, please come on up. And before I call my colleagues up, because I'm sure they would like to share some of their own personal remarks with you and everything that the Red Cross does, let me just share a few highlights. More than 139 years ago, the American Red Cross was established as a humanitarian organization guided by seven fundamental principles, including humanity, impartiality, and independence, to provide services to those in need regardless of race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, and citizenship status. Today, the Red Cross is one of the largest humanitarian organizations in the world and delivers its mission every day to prevent and alleviate human suffering in the face of emergencies. The New Jersey region this past year alone assisted with 821 local disasters and helped save lives through their home fire campaign. In this area, the Red Cross handles an average of 7,200 emergency military calls every year and collects an average of 94,000 units of blood from generous blood donors throughout the, the area and neighborhoods. March is a special time to recognize and thank the Red Cross volunteers and donors who give up their time and resources to help members of our community. The Red Cross depends on these local heroes to deliver help and hope during a disaster, and we applaud our heroes here in New Jersey who give of themselves to assist their neighbors when they need a helping hand. At this time, I'd like to call up my colleagues, Freeholder Brendan Gill and Freeholder Patricia Siebold, I'm sure, as Freeholders at large, who have also been on this board a very long time, would like to share in the thanks and gratitude that we have for the American Red Cross and for you, Executive Director. Freeholder Siebold. Thank you, Freeholder Luciano. The Red Cross is very important, not just here in Fairfield, in northern Essex County, but in all of the United States and all over the world. What would we do without the Red Cross? They help so many people. They offer so much help all the time in all kinds of disasters. We are very, very fortunate that we have such a wonderful organization such as the Red Cross. So uh, I'm honored to stand here with my colleagues, Friel de Siebold, Friel de Luciano, and I know also Friel de Johnson, who's not here uh, tonight, but was also a sponsor of this resolution uh, to represent, um, to uh, recognize March. Uh, as National uh, Red Cross uh, Month, and I know it's not the first time that we've uh, had to, do, you know, that you've been here with us a few times to do it, but we're we're proud to do it uh, and to play a small part uh, in the mission of this organization. Uh, and actually, as we stand here today, uh, we're dealing with quite a few, um, you know, potential um, crises, uh, you know, uh, both here in New Jersey and across this country. Uh, so the work of the Red Cross uh, is never far from our mind uh, as a result. So thank you for what you do each and every day, for all the volunteers and the members of the organization. Uh, there's a reason that uh, the Red Cross comes to mind probably first and foremost 
uh, when there is a disaster or when there is something to have to be dealt with. Uh, you know, it's uh, because of the record that is established uh, in serving our community, and we're proud to be able to be with you here today uh, to recognize that service. So congratulations again. <laughs> so, uh, and I'll turn it back over to Friel de Luciano to present you with the proclamation. Thank you. Thank you, Freeholder Gill, President Gill. And again, thank you, Freeholder Siebold. So again, on behalf of everyone in your organization, all the volunteers and all those folks that give back, uh, on behalf of the Board of Chosen Freeholders and my colleagues, there are nine of us, we present you with this special commendation resolution, and we would, of course, love to hear from you for a few words. Thank you. So as always, I want to thank the Board of Cho Chosen Freeholders for, for honoring, and it's not for honoring me, it's for honoring our amazing volunteers and donors. We are 90% volunteer driven in the country, but 98% volunteer driven here in New Jersey. So without those heroes, we actually wouldn't be able to fulfill mission. Um, obviously, we're at the moment on, um, in the coronavirus Issue. So I would say obviously the Red Cross is involved in that, but to really listen to our local, state, and federal officials about what to do, and uh, just to heed the um, the warnings and the, and the, the the ways that we should wash hands, etc. But it's really important, I think, and as an organisation involved in that, would say please listen to just to the precautions that are being shared. I think the one message I'd like to share tonight, when I think about. We're responding, obviously, to disasters, 62,000 a year. Over 90% are home fires. So I think my message today, especially as we've just turned the clocks forward, is to check your smoke alarms. I always do that when the clocks go forward or go back. Make sure your batteries are OK. Make sure it's working. You should actually check it every month. But change those batteries. It gives you 50% more chance to get out in time. And have those precautions, like don't use candles and don't overload an outlet. Um, and then have a plan, have an evacuation plan. It's really, really important that you have somewhere you're going to meet. You've got two minutes to get out, so have somewhere to meet. Um, have two ways out of every room and really sit down with the family and create that plan. So that's really, really key. Obviously, again, with our blood and because of the coronavirus, that will actually impact our blood drive. So where you can, we really encourage you to give blood at this time. We always encourage that, but at times like this, we encourage that more. Take those life-saving courses, uh, support our military, and obviously we work internationally too. So again, on behalf of the volunteers and our donors, I want to say thank you for honoring us, as you always do so graciously every year. Thank you. Yeah, one of these, right? Thank you. So, Lent.